How do we know when people arrived in Australia or whether they may have left Africa because of climate change? How do we know whether a Neolithic monument was used for generations or whether it may have been built and closed by the same people? These questions require us to build uh, chronologies from a series of age estimates. Hi, my name is Rachel Wood and I'm a lecturer split between the School of Archaeology and Anthropology and the Research School of Earth Sciences. ARC 3042 and 6042 will introduce you to the main dating methods used in the Quaternary period, the last 2.6 million years. You'll learn how the dating methods work and where they don't work. But this course is not just a list of dating methods. You will learn how we use the age estimates generated by these methods to build chronologies to test hypotheses. We'll talk about how chronology is applied in archaeology, anthropology, paleontology and paleoenvironment studies, addressing major questions such as when, and therefore why, megafauna went extinct and when the earliest rock art was developed. You'll learn to be critical and to evaluate which chronologies are secure and you'll learn how to statistically build and use a chronology for yourself. These skills are critical for anyone wanting to pursue a career which involves finding out about the past, such as archaeological consultancy. The course is interdisciplinary and students typically come from a range of disciplinary backgrounds. It contains scientific content, but it is aimed at students who have high school level science. Introductory material is included and you will be encouraged to share your knowledge of your different fields. I work in the ANU radiocarbon facility. As an undergraduate, I studied archaeology and chemistry, progressing to an MSc in archaeological science and DPhil in radiocarbon dating, with a small stint as a museum assistant. My work focuses on applications in archaeology, and particularly in the Paleolithic and Neolithic, although I've been involved in projects as varied as oceanography, geomorphology and wildlife forensics. I also love method development, particularly for bone and tooth enamel, which are extremely difficult to radiocarbon date in our region. And when not working, I love spending time with my two small children, particularly when they allow us to do some bushwalking without too much uh, complaining. I'm looking forward to meeting you, whether in person or online. And this course gives you plenty of opportunity to explore how chronology has impacted the research questions that you find most interesting. And I'm looking forward to learning more about these with you.